Hi everyone, we are in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen, sponsored by TSET, and I am here with Chef Val from the OUTU School of Community Medicine. Thank you for being here as always. Mm -hmm. And I know we're always trying to get fruits and vegetables and things more incorporated into our meals. So tell us what we're making today. So we're just making a really easy pasta salad. And so we're gonna health it up a little bit okay. because we're using some whole wheat pasta. And so if you're gluten-free though, you could try some of the other pastas out there. There's garbanzo bean, mm -hmm. lentil, there's all kinds of you know healthier that have a little bit of uh, fiber in them more than just your plain white semolina pasta. Okay, okay so getting so, a little more fiber out of it that way. Yes, and so we're we're using this this whole wheat pasta. Um, we're gonna you can do whatever. So this really is so versatile, and we're gonna load it up with vegetables. And it's okay. actually a huge recipe. We were talking earlier. This makes about a gallon of pasta salad. So, so you could have this. You know, you could do half a box of pasta and half. And like cut it all in half. Yes, do half of everything. But if you're going to a big event or you want it to last, you have a big family and you want it to last two or three days, make the whole thing. Yes, and just the colors and things alone, I think just gets people excited. Like right. it just looks good, tastes right. good. So we have, we're, we're adding red pepper, cucumber. Okay. We have some little heirloom tomatoes, red and yellow, some fresh mushroom, which I absolutely love mm -hmm. in a pasta salad, shredded carrot, um, shredded broccoli. And is this a little bit of, I mean, like you said, kind of make it your own. If there's certain vegetables you like, certain vegetables maybe you don't like as much. I mean, oh, you just gosh. make it. Totally. Take it to how you or your crew would yes. like it. Totally make it the way you all would want it. So okay. um, olives are another wonderful thing that you could add. Um, if you eat cheese, some feta cheese would mm -hmm. be delicious in this. And then, of course, this is just as a great base for some grilled chicken or fish, some grilled tofu. Yes, that was my other thought. You could just throw that in there and you have your whole meal already put together. Right. You could, you could do that ahead of time or you could portion this out. Um, so that you have it for a couple of days in a mm -hmm. row. You could wait to dress this if you wanted. So our dressing today is some olive oil, some cider vinegar, apple, uh, excuse me, red wine vinegar mm -hmm. or white wine vinegar would be delicious. We have some Italian herbs, just a dried Italian herb, okay. garlic, honey. And again, this is variable too. You don't have garlic, you don't wanna mess with chopping the garlic, don't do it. Just, just so vinegar and oil is delicious. I mean, it just looks so pretty. It's <laughs> so colorful and pretty. So we actually did a little trial run at my house last night and the kids loved it. This was actually a hit. Good to know because yes, kids are always like our, what, our biggest critics sometimes, <laughs> good or bad, all that right. stuff. <laughs> right. And you know, I say, well, you don't like the, the broccoli, well, take it with a bite of pasta. I mean, a yes. little bite of pasta makes everything. Yeah, everything mixed together always right. works. And some green onion. So okay. it doesn't matter, you could use white onion, uh, red, but we're just using some, some green right here. And if you don't put the dressing on right away, just to go over it one more time, just you can keep it longer that sure. way. Just yeah. dress it as needed. Right, you okay. can do it that way. Um, but this would also be delicious dressed ahead of time for something that you were gonna eat that night. Okay. And so you can see that the difference in the one that we made last night mm -hmm. versus the one that we made today. So the one that I have has some olives in it and I use zucchini. This one has cucumber, broccoli. So there's just right. some variations here, but delicious both ways. I was gonna say, so again, you can kind of make it your own or make it based on the people you're serving, on what they like or don't like, and make it so fun. Right. Do I get to taste now? Absolutely. <laughs> I love that part, can you tell? Yes. <laughs> So this is a great way to just kind of go through your refrigerator and say, oh, I have this half a bell pepper and half of an onion and I have not enough broccoli for my whole family for dinner mm -hmm. tonight, but I'm gonna chop up all these things together and add them to my pasta salad, dinner. Yeah, because you always feel like you have a little bit of this, a little right. bit of that. So this is a perfect meal that you're not wasting. You're using it, you're incorporating your vegetables, your fiber, different things like that. Right. Always amazing, tastes so good. If you want to learn more about this recipe and any other recipes, go ahead and head to kjrh.com.